Scorpio, hi, and welcome to your love reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Scorpio. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. If you are new, welcome and thanks for stopping by. Coral to Tarot here. These all are timeless and general love tarot readings, so only take what resonates. And let's jump right into it, Scorpio, and see what's happening for you in love and relationships. Sun, Moon and Rising Scorpio. What's happening, Scorpio? We have this King of Swords wanting to um, pop out. I did see that. Um, someone wants to talk. Um, someone definitely wants to communicate. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And this it feels like something really... Um, they want to um, communicate truth something that uh, will bring clarity to situation with the king of swords definitely an honest conversation and open uh, we also have this six of cups for you so this could be someone from the past um it doesn't have to be perhaps this is soulmate um it doesn't necessarily have to be a person that you have once came across in your life or had a romantic relationship with Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's happening? Okay. One more time. Tarot is ready. Let's pull some of the oracles here. One. Please show me the energies. What's happening for Scorpio here? Yes. Thank you. What's happening, Scorpio? Sun and then rising Scorpio. Sun and then rising Scorpio. No. Scorpio this one and the bottom of the deck as well okay let's see what's happening they are shuttered there is here euphoria separation healing and growth okay so I feel um Scorpio, you and your person are not together and this person feels this energy really, really intensely, really strongly. We have separation here. So um, there is also energy pretty heavy. This person is really finding it difficult to deal with the separation, with the breakup. Um, shattered for me is, I really feel this person, um, regrets whatever happened and regrets whatever they did to sort of add to the situation, to that outcome, which is essentially was separation. Um, this person is having a hard time to function on a daily basis uh, because of that separation and uh, breakup that, uh, that happened. Now there is a very positive energy here. This person is actively trying to heal. Um, so I feel this person is trying to use all the methods um, from meditation to hypno hypno hyp hypnosis. Hypnosis? No. Okay. Meditation that are really helping to calm um, this person's mind and spirit because I really feel um, they are finding it hard to function. Um, cleansing their energy, meditation, uh, they are doing everything to be able to get up in the morning and function. Also, they are trying to understand better the situation that happened and kind of um, reflect back and see what led to the final outcome when you 
have guys decided to break up. So there is some sort of revision, form of revision to be able to put things together to understand the situation better. Um, and because of that, you know, I love this energy here, growth. It really points to the fact that as much as this is a very painful energy, separation, breakup, um, there is an opportunity here to learn a lot. Learn a lot about themselves and learn a lot about relationship, this relationship. So I feel this is what's happening now with the person, with your person, Scorpio. Um, the healing that they are um, activating in their life. And there are all sorts of forms to be able to heal from a breakup, to be able to process this um, emotional loss to the point that you can actually function on a daily basis. Um, it's just going to help this person change, transform. And if, if in the future there is um, an opportunity for you together to get back together, there is nothing here about this yet, but I'm saying that the growth always for me points to the fact that there is an opportunity to translate this personal growth that is happening because of the breakup and because of everything that comes with it, which is that really strong energy to heal, review, revise, understand. Because of that, there is an opportunity to grow um, even for this connection, if one day you'll decide to get back together. There is a beautiful energy that comes through here as well, and it's euphoria. There is some sort of very optimistic energy that is, um, I feel connected to the fact that um, as much as this person feels shattered and finds it really difficult to function on a daily basis um, because of the breakup that happened between you two, there is some sort of silver lining that this person is already seeing in the situation and is trying to convert that energy into use, I feel, with the healing and growth. A lot of spiritual energies here. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what else we have here. Let's open your tarot. I'm sorry for um, all of you that can resonate with this um, separation um, energy. We've got the Empress in a position of now. Um, five of cups in the past, we have king of cups in the position of the future and ten of cups. Okay. I feel the, the reason why your person is shattered is that they really know that no one compares to you. No one compares to you. They, um, they know you are the one for them. You tickle the boxes. You, ha you can make this person feel emotionally fulfilled, Ten of Cups, um, nobody else. Five of Cups in the past, it really talks about, the, the, I feel the separation, separation has happened um, fairly recently, more recently, um, and yes, we have this energy here. So I like when Tara sings in with, um, with my oracles. I feel there is some sort of silver lining in this separation between you guys. There is a silver lining here. They do regret whatever happened, absolutely. Um, they do regret whatever led to the breakup, misunderstanding, things that were not uh, cleared. We had this King of Swords flipping for you, uh, Scorpio. I feel there is a strong need here for very honest, open 
communication, conversation that will clear any misunderstandings. Nevertheless, it feels like we are here um, and the energies talk about a separation, a breakup that has happened. Nevertheless, for this person, you are the one. Um, I'll tell you what, King of Cups, also, this could be your energy, Scorpio. This could be energy of the person that you are asking about or your energy. So this could be how you feel about someone, that you broke up, you are shattered. You are trying to put the dots together and understand what happened. However, you know that the person you separated from is, is the one you see your person, Scorpio, as the one. And you know that they tick all the boxes. And King of Cups, in a position of the future, you know, really strong your energy, Scorpio. But as I said, apply to your situation. This is a collective general love rating because the energies are flowing. This could be either from your perspective or, the, or from a perspective of your lover. Um, so I feel <laughs> if... Um, if this is your person's energy, I, I really feel that there is an opportunity here to get back together because of this King of Cups. King of Cups, to me, it's emotion, it's feeling, it's perhaps not... There is... This King isn't really good at um, maybe expressing uh, verbally how they feel, but they do have feelings and I feel your person still has feelings, still holds feelings. Um, it's all over this this terror uh, spread here. So I really feel that in the near future, despite the fact that very likely for many of you, you are guys now um, separated and your person is healing or you are healing, you're taking some time of, I do see an opportunity to get back together. And I kind of felt it when I was looking at these oracles. I want to know a little bit more about the King of Cups for Scorpio. Mm. Here. Okay. We have Sagittarius here. We've got a Temperance, Queen of Cups and Two of Swords. I feel your person may take a little time unknowingly because of the two of swords. I feel this person's having a, they don't want to see that you are a perfect match. And with the temperance here, I really feel that you, this person's waiting. Obviously there's healing here, active healing happening. And, and um, I feel there is an opportunity to get back together. I feel your person is clearly, these energies are clearly showing that this person has still feelings for you. They will, um, the temperance could be around Sagittarius time this year, which is the end of the year, right after your birthday, Scorpio. I feel your person may take as long as till, until that time to really um, see that you are a perfect match. They are a perfect match. You are, guys, a perfect match. And um, they will need to just shrug that blindfold and um, get out of this stalemate situation. But with the temperance, I really feel that there is time that is needed, patience, patience that is needed. Also, um, this angel on temperance uh, card is essentially the archetype here talks about perfect alchemy between these two chalices. This is a higher octave of two of cups, by the way. So I really feel that your person may take time. They, it will take a little bit longer but I feel this person is going to express how they feel um, about you and about the connection with you. And it's very likely that they will want to get back together and fix this connection. 
simply because you are a perfect match, Scorpio. We have Sagittarius here, Pisces, could be fellow Scorpio or Cancer, and Taurus. Libra. Okay, let's see. Please show me what's happening here. Tell me more about this situation. Mercury, thoughts. Oh, Mercury is a planet of communication, Gemini. And one more, please. Gemini is also communication. It's ruled by Mercury and Venus. Yes, there is love here. Plain and simple. There is love. This person does have feelings. I feel there is still love. I feel there is definitely a strong um, opportunity here to heal the situation, heal the um, relationship, grow both um, on an independent level as well as grow as a couple and get back together. I really can see this happening for you. Mercury. Um, this is a planet of communication. The oracle is called thoughts, but for me, this is communication. It's also Gemini and Virgo. Here we have a Gemini as well, so this could be also Gemini that you are dealing with. Scorpio, thank you for your time and your energy. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, especially, especially Scorpio, if you did enjoy this video, this content. Please leave me a like button. I would really appreciate that. Leave me a like press that like button, excuse me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. It really helps me to build this channel. That's all that I have for you today, Scorpio. All the better best, and I will speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.